The 10 Most Scandalous and Shocking Facts About Sally Kristen Ride Sally Kristen Ride, the first American woman to venture into space, has left behind a legacy filled with groundbreaking achievements, controversies, and hidden struggles that continue to astonish and inspire. While her historic journey aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger in 1983 is well documented, many aspects of her life and career remain shrouded in mystery and speculation. This video delves into the 10 most scandalous, shocking, and intriguing facts about this pioneering astronaut, revealing the complexities and challenges she faced in her journey beyond the stars. Fact number 1. Early Aspirations, The Making of an Astronaut Sally Ride's path to the stars was shaped early in her life, growing up in Los Angeles, born on May 26, 1951. A curious child with a keen interest in science and the universe, Wright devoured books on physics and space from a young age. This early passion was complemented by her athletic prowess, particularly in tennis, where she excelled to the point of contemplating a professional career. These dual interests showcased her remarkable balance of intellectual curiosity and physical fitness, essential traits for her future as an astronaut. Her academic journey was marked by excellence and a defiance of gender stereotypes. Attending Westlake School for Girls, Wright demonstrated her capabilities across a broad spectrum of subjects, from science to humanities. Despite societal norms of the time, which often discouraged women from pursuing STEM fields, Wright's ambition was unfettered. Her family's support played a crucial role in fostering her ambitions, proving pivotal in her decision to aim for the stars. Number 2. Breaking Barriers in Space the 1983 Historic Mission On June 18, 1983, Sally Ride made history aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger on the STS-7 mission, becoming the first American woman to fly in space. This mission was not just a personal victory for Ride but a landmark event for women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM). At a time when the space industry was dominated by men, Ride's inclusion in the crew was a bold statement against the gender norms of the era. Despite her qualifications, Wright faced intense media scrutiny, often being asked demeaning questions about her ability to handle the pressures of space due to her gender. Reporters asked whether she would cry if things went wrong on the mission or how she would manage without makeup in space. These interactions spotlighted the sexism still rampant in society and the space industry. However, Wright's flawless performance and professionalism during the mission served as a powerful counter to these stereotypes inspiring countless women to pursue careers in STEM fields. Number 3. A Secret Love Life, Ride and O'Shaughnessy Sally Ride's relationship with Tam O'Shaughnessy, a professor of psychology and a childhood friend, was a closely guarded secret until after Ride's death from pancreatic cancer on July 23, 2012. The couple met when they were both aspiring tennis players in their youth but reconnected professionally later in life, becoming partners in both life and their shared passion for science education. Their relationship began in 1985 and lasted 27 years, until Ride's death. This aspect of Ride's life remained private, reflecting the challenges LGBTQ individuals face, especially those in the public eye. The posthumous acknowledgement of Ride's sexuality was a significant moment for LGBTQ visibility, showing that sexual orientation has no bearing on a person's abilities or achievements. Ride and O'Shaughnessy's partnership, both personal and in their educational endeavors, exemplifies the intersection of private life and public legacy, contributing to a broader understanding of diversity in STEM fields. Number 4. The Challenger Disaster Involvement, Seeking Truth and Accountability On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight, leading to the deaths of all seven crew members. Sally Ride was a key figure in the investigation of the disaster as part of the Rogers Commission. Her integrity and dedication to uncovering the truth were evident when she provided critical technical insights that helped identify the cause of the tragedy. Wright passed along crucial information about the faulty O-rings, components of the solid rocket boosters, to physicist Richard Feynman. Feynman's subsequent demonstration of the O-rings failure in cold conditions was pivotal in the Commission's findings. Ride's actions during this period were emblematic of her commitment to safety in space exploration and her willingness to challenge NASA's leadership and culture to prevent future tragedies. 
Her role in the investigation underscored the importance of transparency, accountability, and ethical responsibility in the aftermath of a disaster. Number 5. A Secret Soviet Training Mission In the spirit of détente during the mid-1980s, amidst the Cold War's tense atmosphere, there were several initiatives aimed at fostering U.S.-Soviet cooperation in space exploration. While there is no public record of Sally Wright being selected for a secret training mission aboard a Soviet spacecraft, such a scenario would align with the era's efforts towards collaboration, exemplified by the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975. If Wright had been selected for such a mission, it would have involved intensive language training, cultural exchange, and familiarization with Soviet space technology, mirroring the experiences of astronauts who participated in later collaborative programs like the Shuttle Mir missions in the 1990s. This hypothetical mission underscores the potential for international cooperation in space exploration, even during periods of geopolitical tension. Number 6. A Private Battle with Cancer Sally Ride's battle with pancreatic cancer was indeed private, with her diagnosis and treatment remaining away from the public eye until her death on July 23, 2012. Pancreatic cancer is known for its aggressive nature and challenging prognosis, often diagnosed at an advanced stage due to nonspecific early symptoms. Wright's choice to keep her illness private reflects her general preference for maintaining a distinction between her personal life and public persona. Her passing at the age of 61 brought to light her personal strength and resilience, traits that had characterized her entire career. The announcement of her illness and subsequent death caused a wave of tributes, highlighting her role as a pioneer for women in STEM and space exploration. Number 7. The NASA Selection Controversy When Sally Ride was selected as a NASA astronaut candidate in January 1978, she was among the first group of six women to enter the astronaut corps. Her selection came after NASA's announcement in 1977 that they were looking for candidates for the space shuttle program, which for the first time explicitly welcomed applications from women. Ride, who held a PhD in physics from Stanford University, was selected from over 8,000 applicants, underscoring her exceptional qualifications for the role. Critics of NASA's selection process suggested that the inclusion of women was motivated more by social and political pressures than by the candidates' merits. However, Ride's academic credentials, her performance during the rigorous selection process, and her subsequent contributions to NASA missions disproved these assertions. Her selection was a landmark moment in the agency's history, reflecting broader societal changes towards gender equality in the workplace. Her performance in space, particularly during her historic flight on Challenger STS-7 on June 18, 1983, demonstrated her skill, professionalism, and the importance of diversity in the space program. Number 8. An Unconventional Path to NASA Sally Ride's journey to becoming the first American woman in space was far from conventional. Born on May 26, 1951, in Los Angeles, Ride showed early promise in both academics and athletics. Her foray into professional tennis is a lesser-known chapter of her life. In the early 1970s, Ride was a nationally ranked player and even considered pursuing tennis professionally, going so far as to take a brief hiatus from her studies at Swarthmore College to train. However, her passion for science ultimately prevailed, leading her to return to academia. She transferred to Stanford University, where she earned a bachelor's degree in English and physics, followed by a master's and then a PhD in physics in 1978. Number 9. The Mystery of the Sally Ride Moon Rock The story of the Sally Ride Moon Rock captures the intersection of space exploration and education. In 1973, as part of NASA's goodwill gestures, moon rocks collected during the Apollo 17 mission, the last manned mission to the moon, were distributed to various entities and dignitaries to inspire awe and promote scientific curiosity. Sally Ride, renowned for her commitment to education, was entrusted with a moon rock to use as an educational tool. The disappearance of this lunar sample sparked interest and concern due to its scientific and historical value. Details on the specific circumstances of its loss and recovery remain sparse, but the incident underscores the challenges in safeguarding and utilizing these rare artifacts for public benefit. 
The moon rock's eventual recovery highlighted the importance of such items in inspiring future generations and commemorating human achievements in space exploration. Number 10. An Advocate for Education. After her illustrious career with NASA, Sally Wright turned her attention to a cause close to her heart, education. In 2001, she co-founded Sally Wright Science, a company focused on encouraging children, especially girls, to pursue interests in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM). This initiative was driven by Wright's recognition of the gender gap in these fields and her desire to use her platform to inspire and educate. 